Okay, so this is an update on the process, on the printing process. I just um, finished the process. I went to the printing lab. I made the process for you guys, so you don't have to make the mistakes. I made the mistakes. I printed a couple of pages, and I and I and I get it right. Um, so this is this is really simple. What you have to do. Remember, we were here. Uh, we we're gonna go to the printing menu and select the select the print booklet, and then we have our window. Uh, with the options, remember we go to print uh, settings and we open up this one, right? The thing in here is that you're going to have, when you go to the printing lab, you're going to have these two options available, page setup and printer. The only one really that you need to use is this one, the printer, and what you're going to see is basically this, right? So you're going to see the page and the option for printer. Just go ahead and print that option, uh, press that option, Sorry, and it will give you this menu. Uh, this is a warning. Um, the the uh, it's just that the the, the 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 it might be printing conflicts. It's not a big deal. You can just press OK, and then it will open up this menu. Right, this menu. What it has is several options. And in here, you don't have to select the flip horizontally that I mentioned before or the reverse page orientation. What you have to do is just open the Xerox uh, features, right? Xerox features will actually open up a second option menu that is going to be this one. And in this one, you can select instead of sided uh, one sided print, uh, print, you can select two side print. But actually, the one that you select is this one to side to sided print flip on short edge so that the, the the image is flipped on the other side so it doesn't um, uh, so they both share the same top and the same bottom that means that uh, your pages are going to be back and forth okay right as soon as you press print in here it's not going to go print as soon as you do that it's going to go back to your um, in design to this menu when you print OK here it will just save those uh, options for your printer and then in here you can just go ahead and press print and it will go straight to the printer right uh, that's basically it they should work if you have any issues just please let me know okay send me an email okay guys Good luck and see your work soon.